and we're live. Is this, this thing, on? Is this thing on? Two. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? I, I think it's on. I think it's on. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Oh wait, hold on, dude. <laughs> Someone at the door. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Uh, it's been a while. We we talked about how we were gonna make it. It's <laughs> <laughs> been a while. <laughs> it's a bit distracting, dude. Keep it professional, dude. Did you fix your monocle a little bit, a little bit rare, dude. Is is my monocle? Is yeah, it, it's a, yeah. It fix it too much reflection. Let me just yeah. Go there you go. It off real quick. Okay. There we go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> um. Anyway, um, we're back. It is a big day, right, John? It is. It is. Um, Wait, so, let's let's introduce ourselves. Yeah. Um, my name is John. Uh, that's Richard on the other side with the monocle. Ooh. This is another tech chatter. Uh, we told you before that we were gonna make it a weekly thing, but guess what? We lied. But now. But now we'll try to do our best to make it. We're going to do our best. We're going to do our best. Um, as Richard mentioned, today was a uh, pretty pretty big day. Some company named Banana. No, I think it was Apple. Oh, Apple. Apple um, announced uh, a <laughs> slew of... <laughs> Fruit of the Loom. Uh, announced mm -hmm. a slew of new products that's coming out this uh, just in time for the holiday season. Yes, yeah, very exciting. Very exciting. I'm, I'm actually very excited about it, but... I, I understand you have a lot of questions. I'm ready to answer all of them. I, know, I, I didn't get a chance to watch it because I was too busy with, uh, you know, work and Reddit. I'm, I'm um, so, um, Richard here, since you saw it, I'm going to be asking you a couple of questions. about it. Since I'm kind of interested in myself, although I've kind of deviated away from Apple recently. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think the biggest thing they've announced are the two new iPads, which is what they call the new newer iPad, well just new iPad, but they called it new iPad last time, and the new iPad mini. Can you talk about a little bit about those? What changed from last year to this year? Yeah, I mean the, the best way to describe it is this. So if you know what the iPad mini looks like, they took that and they stretched it out and it's mm -hmm. now called the iPad Air. There's mm -hmm. no more just the regular iPad anymore. So it's now just the iPad Air, which is the regular 9-inch tablet, mm -hmm. and then the iPad mini. That's it. And what this leads me to believe if, if you pay attention to the naming conventions with Apple, is yeah. that they have MacBook Air and then MacBook Pro. So if, if they're sticking with this naming convention, then obviously there's going to be an iPad Pro. You heard it here first. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Yeah. I mean, right. look, if, if you look at the iPad Air right now, there's no Touch ID. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of strange, you know, considering As that their flagship smartphone has Touch ID, why not their flagship uh, uh, tablet, which leads me to believe this is not their flagship tablet. Uh -huh. So we're going to probably see another tablet from them early next year, which is going to be, like, let's say, an iPad Pro, which, yep. again, is kind of strange because, hey, it's an iPad mm -hmm. Pro. What, what are you going to do with an iPad Pro? I mean, I know they're trying to sell it like it's a some sort of workhorse you can okay. get. No, 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 but I don't, I don't think that's good. So just go through bullet points on what's actually new about this, the new newer iPad that they have, that they introduced today. Yeah. I know, obviously, like, the, the better specs and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, it's been updated all around, so it's going to be faster. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to have a 64-bit architecture, which is fine, I suppose. You're not, you're not really going to notice any difference mm -hmm. uh, in it so much. I think it's more for the future, so when they start to develop uh, software, the, rather apps that are take advantage of it, then, right. you know nice things about it. Uh, otherwise, the Mini, the iPad Mini now has a retina display, which a lot okay. of people were really like gunning for. Hey, why doesn't the iPad Mini have, have a retina display, mm -hmm. uh, considering the Nexus 7 has an, an equivalent kind of display, so mm -hmm. clearly there's a way to do it, but Apple wasn't doing it. Finally, they are. <laughs> which is really exciting, I guess, but it's such a small device, I don't know if you really see the difference. Unless yeah, it's, it's side by side, it's, right? It sounds a bit of an overkill of having all that power. If your most iPad users are, I guess, just gonna check Facebook or something. I, I don't know if exactly the, the red in the display might make them look better. You know, right? I mean, I mean, in all honesty, I don't think a lot of people use it uh, as a working device. I mean, mm -hmm. this is a consumption device. So maybe you'll read some articles on it. I mean, it looked fine to me. I, I'm not uh -huh. really that picky. Okay, okay, but considering the 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 changes from last year, do you think it's um, like if someone has a Nexus Seven, which obviously is one of the competitors with iPad, yeah. would you be would they be so inclined in purchasing a new iPad given what's presented no, to us today? No, no. No, no, I doubt it. I mean, I doubt it. If you if you bought a Nexus Seven recently, then <clears throat> there's no reason for you to buy an iPad. Uh, another interesting thing about the iPad Air mm -hmm. uh, is they remove the bezel from the previous generation iPad. 
from the sides. Mm -hmm. So the actual form factor actually did get smaller, even mm -hmm. though the screen stayed the same size. Which uh, I can actually go either way on this. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna hold back my judgment until I actually, you know, hold one in my hands. Because what I liked about the larger bezel on the uh, iPad was that it was nice to hold in your hand if you're reading a book, let's say, yeah, yeah. and you're not covering the screen. So if the bezel is really small, you're gonna have to have be very kind of careful with it on the edges. So kinda, it might get a little annoying. Kind of hold it on the back like that, like a like a child. Well, you can't because it's so big. So you, know, yeah. you, might, you might not be able to do that like you would on an iPad Mini. The, yeah. I mean, that's why they did it, the design of the iPad Mini such that you can hold it with one hand so you don't mm -hmm. need the bezel. But then they did it on the large version. I don't know how that's going to work. So we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on to the next, uh, I would say it was big. Now it's a little small. Well, to be exact, it looks like a trash can small. The uh, new, <laughs> the new Mac Pro that was announced today. Uh, it cost a whopping three thousand dollars. Well, it starts price. starts at three thousand, but where does it end? Infinite. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know how those configurators you can get out of control. Yeah. You add this on, you add that, and all of a sudden it's like ten thousand dollars for a trash bin. I mean. So whoa. give us a little, give us a little breakdown on what this uh, little container. Okay, is. so so I think the this container, MacBook Pro container, is is really marketed for the professionals. In Mac life. Pro. You said Mac that. Pro, so okay. there you go. But uh, that's a very small crowd. That's that's your Final Cut Pro, your Logic yeah. Pro, your Aperture folks. That's about it. I mean, mm -hmm. the Mac, for instance, the iMacs that they come out with now are actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. And for most people, those are those computers are going to be more than enough. I mean, in the past, in the early 2000s, people yeah. just they wanted the desktop computer. They went and got the, the either the G3 or the G4, and then finally the the Mac Pro. Mm -hmm. You know, but nowadays people don't buy the Mac Pro, so it's a very small market. So they had to sort of. I I don't know what. The goal of this design was because it's... It was very weird. It's really weird, yeah. It's really strange because if it's marketed for the, the pro individual, mm -hmm. it's certainly not designed like it's for the pro individual because you can't expand it. You yeah. Can't, you can't... You can no longer have uh, the, you know, the old... Um, what is it? Spinning hard drives in it. It's only uh -huh. take solid state because just there's just no room in it. Room in it. Yeah. Plus, you know, I get it. You you want to you know stay, stray away from the spinning hard drives because the performance on the solid state is so much better. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the same time, you can't really expand it too much. You can't change the video cards. You can't you can't do much of it. You can't add stuff into it either because mm -hmm. it's so cramped. In it. So what you yeah. end up doing is is tacking on an external hard drive here, an external yeah. hard drive there, and all of a sudden you have all these wires sticking out of it. <laughs> right. It's Kind of weird. It'll go against the compact aesthetic that it currently has. Yeah. My my first assumption was it'll be. I mean, obviously these machines are not meant for gaming. If you're going to build a gaming computer, you you can do so a lot more with three thousand dollars. Yeah, no, so, definitely not for gaming. So it's definitely only for like video files and like people who deal with a lot of media. Yes. So I assume that it'll be convenient for them if they want to take it anywhere. But usually when you have like a video rendering station, it's should be just remaining, be yes. remaining stationary, yes. and you'll take your laptop with you anywhere. So, mm -hmm. I kind of deduced that from my assumptions. It was just I'm just wondering why did they create such a weird design on it, and it still baffles my mind. Yeah, it's, it's very it's very bizarre. I don't. I yeah. don't find, it's. It, I don't it know. Looks like it looks like a black R two D two. I'm sure. I'm sure the the actual hardware is mm -hmm. going to be really high quality. I'm sure it's going to yeah. be really nice. I'm sure it might even look really nice in person. Mm -hmm. But unless it's it's such, for such a specific use case, yeah, uh, it's I don't know. It's more like you know, hey, it, it's more like to me, it's they're like, hey, we gotta make something for the pro users. Mm -hmm. Let's just put something out, and then and then everyone else will ooh and ah about it. But it does, is it really practical? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, and it's still you know. So the new MacBook, not Mac, no, I'm saying MacBook Pro. The new Mac Pro still remains to be targeted for that niche market. That right. We're not a part well, of one thing I, I do want to add about the naming convention. So one uh -huh. thing I noticed today on the Apple Store is that uh -huh. it, there is no more MacBook. So the laptop is oh. not there anymore. So you just go you have Air or Pro. That's it. So There's no in between. They just basically got rid of the mid tier. They got rid of the mid. Well, they got mm -hmm. the one. The optical drive version is gone. Oh right, right, okay. So, you know, good riddance. And I think one of the fun... <laughs> Is that crickets here? Oh, sh <laughs> That's the crickets. I think I stepped on one. Um, <laughs> I think one of the... Um, 
at the, one of the final biggest things that they introduced was the OS OSX Maverick. Is it OS X or is it OS? I don't know. I, I just I, I see X. Know. I see X. I see ten. I see ten. Yeah. Maybe, maybe when it's eleven, I say X I. Um, I don't think it's ever going to be eleven. That's the thing about Mavericks. Is that oh, really? when they first announced it, they said this is going to be the new naming convention for the next like ten iterations. Hmm. Oh. So I don't think it's, we're, we're not going to see OS X or OS X go away anytime soon. So it's just going to be like... <laughs> it's just going to be OS X with different spots around the country. Right on. Um, so I, I think this costs a lot. I think it's more than the Mac Pro, dude. This uh, little new Maverick they have. How much the, does it cost again? The, the, update, the update. Yeah, the update, yeah. It's, it's free 99 <laughs> Whoa, dude. I know. Are we, ta- are we talking about Apple, dude? Uh, all right. Just blew my mind, dude. <laughs> Three ninety nine. I think you're getting a little too trigger happy with this. <laughs> I think I am. So I I um I'm running I'm still running on my 2009 MacBook Pro right now with. Well, hey, good good news for you. You don't have to update your uh, Mac. <clears throat> OS, the in-between updates, you can go straight to Mavericks. Oh, really? You don't have to pay, you know, to update the in-between versions. No, because I was going to... Like, 30 bucks, whatever it was. No, because I was going to say, I'm still running, like, Mountain Lion. Yeah. So, so wait, what you're trying to say is, like, I made the right choice by just sticking to it, so all those other people who updated on me just, I mean, updated before me just got shitted on? John, you made the right choice. (laughs) You did it. That was that was that was a there bold move, and uh, it paid off. There you go. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna have to end this because I'm gonna update it. I'm kidding. <laughs> so, so I, I honestly, I, I've I've been more than dandy with the mountain lions. Give me give me a few bullet points on you know what's the new things for I this think, well, free yeah. update. There's a lot of little things that make this update worthwhile. I haven't actually done it myself. I'm gonna right after this podcast. I'm gonna go and download and install it. It's available today for free. Okay. Uh, you just go to the app store and download it from there. Uh, you get I think tagging is now involved. I mean, it's just overall. I think it's just a bunch of little minor updates. The overall mm-hmm. look stays the same. I think what's what was interesting to me about the whole update was that they the okay so iOS on the iPhone was drastically changed recently and they got rid of the skeuomorphism effect which is the rather skeuomorphism design yeah. which is that look where it's like fake leather fake wood so they yeah. got rid of all that but they didn't do that for the OS which is really kind of like disjointed because in the past it was very similar the yeah, iPhone it was all uniform yeah it was all uniform mm-hmm. and now they with this recent update they kept the same old look. I mean, they 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 demoed um, GarageBand, and it still had the fake wood in there. So it's very sort of disjointed. I mean, I, I sort of understand they they probably couldn't you know make the update in time. Uh-huh. But you know, it's Apple. They're usually they're really strategic about this sort of thing. They plan strategic. what strategic. They strategic. plan way ahead of time, mm-hmm. and then they release everything, and everything is really like uh, uh you know it's. With no loose ends, everything yeah. is all the uh, eyes are dotted, the T's are crossed. Everything is you know good. Now, not so much. Uh, maybe so, uh, maybe they're trying to somehow distinguish between you know desktop OS and mobile OS. Could be because maybe you think. Oh, here's a good question. I just thought of this now. Do you think maybe they're seeing the failures of Microsoft's Windows and how it's confusing people because it, they're all they're all trying to be. Hey, it's the that same test? product on your iPhone, on your tablet, on your desktop, and people. You know what? They're not going for it. So that maybe of, Apple's seeing that and going. Mm, let's stay away from that. Well, I think. Well, that makes sense. But I think uh, I think one of the main things that the um, mobile OS. One of the main things that uh, distinguishes the mobile OS from the desktop OS is the dock bar. And, mm. you know, mobile OS has, like, the dock bar itself, but that's only for the sole purpose of launching um, apps, as whereas the dock bar in the desktop OS is, shows, you know, as their multitask and current apps running, in which you can access that with the mobile OS by just with the, with a the, with the double click. Right. Um, other than that, they are pretty similar, and I think you may be right on that one. My, maybe Apple... I, I think you mentioned earlier that they even uh, kind of threw a jab at Microsoft during the presentation, right? Yeah, they, did, they, did. they showed they showed a box of. Well, first of all, they said the 
they sort of said they don't know what direction they're headed in. It's very confusing yeah. what the strategy is. And then they said, whereas Apple is very focused. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what, what they I think do. you may be right. I think you may be right on that one. I can, you I know, can maybe that's, they yeah. want to differentiate the mobile you know, experience from the mm -hmm. desktop experience. Yeah. They don't want the two to be anything alike. So it yeah. could be. Could be. Could be. Well, I think that wraps up uh, most of the stuff. I mean, they announced a bunch of couple of things, but I just mainly want to get to the the main points of it. I know we we basically want to talk about those things and um, anything else that goes on today without uh, without the name Apple. Anything? Hmm. Anything any else? I wonder. Oh wait, there is one thing. <laughs> this is totally not choreographed at all. It, it was it was it was only seamless, dude. <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> This is called improvisation. <laughs> so, Alright. Okay, so so okay, so there was another company by the name of Nokia. Nokia. They, <laughs> Nokia. Oh wait, wait, is it Nokia? <laughs> no, that's not good. They used to make um, phones, right? Yes, they used to make phones. They still make phones, but they—they, they, I think they uh, shacked up with the wrong company, in my opinion. So they're, they're now—they're uh, now shackled with Microsoft. Well, sort of. They're in the process, but essentially, wow. every, every product they release has Microsoft software on it, which is mm, has not worked out for them at all. So far, uh, what like what product is it? The is it a tablet? Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, so they announced three products today. Mm -hmm. They announced a really large phablet, if you will. It's a six-inch smartphone, mm -hmm. uh, which adds a whole extra row of tiles. If you're familiar with the Windows interface, you have mm -hmm. more things to, to, you know, click on, press mm -hmm. on rather. Um, it's you know, it's got a 20 meg megapixel camera in the back, which I'm sure is going to be a really good camera. It's that uh, pure view, whatever camera that takes mm -hmm. pictures. Uh, just like their other 41 megapixel variant. Yeah. They also released a cheap version of the six-inch smartphone, um, which doesn't have a 1080p, whereas the large, whereas the other one, the other six-inch, does have a 1080p. It's their first 1080p Windows mm -hmm. phone, actually. And they also released a tablet running Windows RT, or not actually. And recently, what I actually read today is that they got rid of the RT mm -hmm. uh, uh, text because. It's confusing everybody. Yeah. So, so now it's just Surface or it's Windows. So anyway, long story short, there's a two smart, two large smartphones from Nokia, uh, one and a tablet. Mm. And sadly, no one heard about it today. <laughs> no, no one. No one. <laughs> I have to ask. There's, there was there had to be something else going on in the world other than Apple stuff. So. Yeah, it, it was just. It's still a Nokia event that no one really cared about. Yeah. And, it, and of all places, it was in Abu Dhabi, so go figure. <laughs> uh, Anyways, guys, uh, that about wraps up today's uh, Butter Chatter podcast. Should go, do we call it Tech Chatter? Tech, anyway. It's Tech Chatter. Tech Chatter podcast. Tech on Butter.net. On, on butter Make um, sure you tell your friends and family. Mm -hmm. Like us on Facebook, uh, follow us on Twitter, and make sure to uh, visit the site frequently. Yes, visit every day, multiple every times day. a day. Tell your tell your coworkers and your loved ones. And your loved ones. Till next time. Bye. Bye.